Hey you guys, it's Marissa. I wanted to show you my latest art journal page that I did. I hope that the lighting, I'm trying to see up here. I have this new setup so I'm up above and uh, so I wanna start doing process videos. Would you guys like if I did process videos? I'm not sure if I'll do process videos on this, but I think I might do one on my project life from 2014. But anyways, oops. Hold on, let me put this here. Okay, so this is um, this is the latest one that I did. I don't think I have to bring it up, but there it is. Struggled with it as I do everything else. This was supposed to be, let's see where girlfriend is. Where is she? Where are you? Okay, this lady right here was who was going to be on it. But it just wasn't, it wasn't going. Well, I wasn't feeling it. And uh, so it took a total turn in an opposite direction, but it's okay because I like it. So I'm not really sure. The best things in life are free. I mean, it was a quote that I had in one of my uh, drawers. So I went with it. <laughs> and I think that I tend to overthink a lot when I do these pages and I always think that things have to match, which I know for the most part they should, but then I was thinking, well, what if people think like she's a prostitute? Like seriously, I was thinking that like, oh, the best things in life are free. Not that prostitutes are free, but I just mean like, <laughs> what does she have to do with things being free? But she doesn't like whatever. I don't know. She just goes. She just happened to be in my stash. And so I used my new butterfly. I got the scrapbook store the other day because I'm all into putting butterfly wings behind women. <laughs> and um, this little stamp set right here is the one that Jen gave me. I, I'm i just in love with this thing. I can't tell you enough, Jen. Thank you so, so much. Oh my goodness. And um, I just put spread your wings. And then I think I put a couple of these. I was just playing around. I feel like this is a little empty, but I, again, I just wanted to finish it. And this was the stencil that I had used in these little areas here. Um, and then I kind of like, well, let me see. I used this one and then this one and this one right here. And uh, I like how it, you know, how it came out. And then those little orange circles were totally random as well. And I just used this little tube that washi tape came on and just kind of did that. Um, I'm sure everybody has this stamp. That's the uh, Dina Wakely stamp. I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Just in case you haven't seen it, it's at Hobby Lobby. So this one right here, just right down there. And then I used my, I've, I've been um, turning to the paint pen instead of my Signal Uniball because I don't want to ruin it. And I want to use it for my Project Life pictures, but I just put some dots on her wings and some dots all up on the petals, outlined here, outlined here, and that's pretty much it. Oh, in case anybody, uh-oh, gets these stencils at Michael's. Hold on, this is how I have my stencils. But um, these puppies right here, these really thin ones, oh, these are one, they're just, look at them, how all this stuff pops out. I mean, sticks out. These are hard to clean. I'm really rough with my stuff and uh, you have to be careful. Another one you have to be careful with is the Take 10 kit ones as well. Sorry. Um, this one right here. I was going crazy. Oh no, this one cleaning and totally bent back all of these right here. So you just have to be careful. But it was kind of hard to um, get in here with it. I don't know. But this is what this background is here. And then I used a lot of the baby wipes to kind of wipe away because I wasn't... I'm still trying to learn how to blend, as you can see. Like, what is this? And way behind it is um, the wrapping paper that I use that has newsprint on it. I got it at Target a few years ago. Oops, wait, where is it? Sorry, <laughs> should have this already. And I never used it as wrapping paper, but it's like absolutely perfect for 
are showing. So that is in the background with gesso over it, so you can, you know, barely see it. But, um, and then I think I used this paint and this paint. And I'm going to do, I've had some people ask me about this, and I'm not sure how I'm going to review it. I'm not sure if I'll, you know, just kind of paint with it with brushes and then show you how little you need and paint with, with different, um, sponges and stuff like that. So if you guys want to see a video on this, I can do it. Um, I have all the colors. So if you would like to see them, you know, all brushed out on different surfaces, I'm all for that because I want to put more videos up. I just kind of don't know what to do. <laughs> and, um, yeah. So anyways, this is it. I hope you enjoyed seeing my art journal page. Um, I like it, you know, um, I always say this and I'm just going to keep saying it. My health sucks, but okay. No, I should probably choose different words. Um, a friend of mine said, it seems like there's always something going on. And if you're watching this, um, I know you didn't mean that in a mean way and you were right though. And I think that sometimes there is people know that there's always something going on or maybe they think something's always going on with me because I tend to make my health and all of the things I'm going through the center of my life. And I've talked to it before, or mentioned it before to you guys that um, I'm trying to push that to the side. I'm trying to not let it define me. But there's moments that it does and I hold on to it for days and I bask in it. Is that the word? I swim in it. I put it all over my body <laughs> and I feel sorry for myself for a little bit. And then I put my big girl panties on and take care of my family and go about my day. And, uh, you know, there, there's moments where things are going great for a little bit and then something's thrown in. And right now something got thrown in again. And so I'm just still learning how to get through it. And I stay up late at night and I do this. And this is what's working for me now. And I was a little embarrassed with how many supplies I've been buying for it. And my husband and I were sitting at my huge long desk here that he just, you know, was probably thinking like, good Lord, upstairs is completely filled with stuff. What is all of this? And he made the comment that, you know, I can't help you with your pain. I don't know how to help you. So if this is what you need, then this is what you need. And I kind of felt guilty. I don't know why I'm telling you guys this, but it was like, no, okay. Yeah, this is what I need, but shopping is not what I need. Like I obviously have a problem. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. I just, I haven't been going crazy, but, um, you know, I'm all for work in my stash for my Project Life stuff, but I feel like I've had to build up my mixed media and I'm letting that justify, I'm justifying my spending. Um, I have this mind set of, I have to get everything now, like the gelatos. Well, they were a good deal, I have to say that. You know, $5, they were half off. So I never got any of these full price. But did I need all of these? No, I could have slowly built up. So... Um, I don't know when he said that I appreciated it and I know that he does feel helpless a lot of the time, but that doesn't give me the right to <laughs> spend our money when we're going to Disneyland. I don't know. Maybe I just had to get that off my chest, but anyways, this is what's working for me right now. And I hope that you guys are enjoying the mixed media. I know that some of my viewers, you or, you know, my subscribers like to do project life maybe more than this. And, you know, and so sometimes I feel kind of bad if I put this up, they're like, oh, here she goes again with that artsy fartsy stuff. But, um, I know you guys support me no matter what. So I will definitely be putting up some project life stuff. And so let me know, sorry, you know, I ramble. I could never have just one of those let's talk day because I would talk forever. Okay, so let me know what you think and I will do something fun with, with these. Okay, talk to you later, you guys. Bye.